For today's project, we're gonna have to go thrift shopping, so grab your hats and your shoes, and let's get going. And then we're going to jump into the nearest vehicle that isn't stolen, and we are going to drive to the nearest thrift store. Oh yeah, there's a coronavirus going around. Which one is it? Oh yeah, the COVID-19. It's too bad that we don't have our own stash of thrifted items sitting in our very own basement right now. That I could sit through this self-quarantine doing productive things like making dresses and costumes. But wait! I do have a bedroom closet and a bedroom bed that is stuffed with stuff underneath it. And I could always bring those down to my basement and then film a video. And that's exactly what myself and my little sister did all morning. Now, it's really important that when you're thrift shopping during an epidemic, you make sure to keep the germs at bay. Not only that, but a lot of these things came from people that probably died. So, you know, there's lots of germs on dead people. So, you need some hand sanitizer. The Thrifted Dress Thrift Shop. Thrift Shop. Oh, I love thrift shops. Let's go. All right, everybody. This is my very first time vlogging. Now, I know a lot of people are scared to vlog because they're like, people are gonna look at me weird and like, it's so awkward being in public. And quite frankly, I am feeling the exact same feeling. So I totally understand what those first time vloggers are talking about. Like, I feel so uncomfortable right now. I've seen at least three people stare at me so far. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this person. They're like gawking at me. Maybe I should abort this vlogging thing. Guys, there's another person staring at me. This is getting really uncomfortable. Like what on earth? I found this really pretty beaded dress. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but I thought maybe I could get this. Look at it, it's so pretty, guys. There's another guy staring at me, so I'm gonna try and be more quiet now, but look how pretty it is. I love it. I just found this really cool like vintage hat thing. Um, ignore that tag, it's not from Goodwill. It's from the Thrifted Dress Thrift Shop. Anyway, look how pretty that is. It's giving me like total wedding vibes. I finally did it, I found a dress. We are going to take this lovely dress home. Gives me bell vibes. Unlike vlogger me, real me doesn't really use the word vibes very often, but it did remind me of Belle. So I did turn this into a Belle transformation dress for my little sister at one point. Here you can see it in action. Thing is, it was always a bit too long for both of us. So I decided that instead of keeping this a transformation dress, I was going to transform this transformation dress into something else for my littlest sister. You can see the blue hiding underneath. That's the part that helps the dress transform. So I'm just going to get rid of that part, but it does have a lot of other layers that I can use while transforming this into another bell dress. There's that top layer, and then there's these two lining layers that are kind of plasticky and gross, but you know, whatever. And the top is actually pretty great as well because it has like these double strap things so i'm sure i can use that for something and then it also has this really really pretty top which is super sparkly in real life it has an invisible zipper which is nice because i don't know how to sew those actually but it's nice and then it also has these buttons and a hook and eye which is always great because i never have enough hooks and eyes on hand and then there's like these little baby snaps and then these buttons and yeah, it's just overall really great. So the first thing to do in order to transform this transformation dress was to cut it apart. Just completely demolish it and kill it and chop it up into pieces. That sounded really intense. I'm sorry, that was not my intention. Anyway, you're probably going to have to grab your seam ripper and your scissors and maybe pluck out some stitches by hand. And then I started taking the bodice apart because I wanted to use that part of the bodice as the little um, sleevey thingies that Belle has over her arms. I can't even think what it's called and I'm too tired to look it up right now. So if it really bothers you, you can look it up online, but I think you understand what I'm talking about. 
And then it was on to the skirt. So I went ahead and I just measured my sister from the waist to about her ankles. And then I just kind of moved my measuring tape along the skirts as I cut them out. I had to do this with three layers, so. All right, so Belle has a really full skirt. So I ended up cutting one, two, and three pieces for the skirt just because I want to do the layering and like the runching, ruching type thing. That literally left me this for the bodice, which should be enough because I can then use this really pretty sparkly fabric here, um, which is actually quite sheer if you take out this back layer which could give me more fabric to work with. So it should be all right. And then I have these little buttons I might do something with. And worst case scenario, I can always break out a good old sheet or pillowcase and use that for the lining or extra fabric if I need to. I didn't end up needing to use a sheet or a pillowcase, so it actually worked out all right. Um, at this point, I just went ahead and I gathered all three of my skirts and I sewed them together at the waistband. There was a lot of background noise, so I'm just voicing over this. Basically, I put my short layer on top of my long layer, and then I was going to put my next long layer over that. It's like a fake organza material or something. And boy, was it fake. My fingers feel like they have little bits of plastic stuck in them right now. And if you're wondering about the outfit change, this is the same tank top I was wondering, wearing under that unicorn sweater. It's just that I got ketchup on that, so I'm wearing this jacket instead. After I sewed the skirts together, I decided that I was going to put a waistband in this. Originally, I wanted to make a dress, but it wasn't going to work very well because I was using the zipper that came with the dress in the bodice. So, yeah, that was confusing. Anyway, I just cut a slit right there, and I just made an opening. And then I took some ribbon, and I sewed it around to make a waistband because I didn't have enough fabric to make a waistband. And then I was able to just kind of like sew up that slit and sew the waistband on and then just kind of tie it like a bow in the back. Then it was on to the bodice and I'm going to tell you right now, it turned out horrible, but I feel like I should include this part and maybe you could do a better job of it. I just used the same pattern I used for my Tinkerbell dress pattern and that bodice turned out pretty well. So I don't know what I did differently. I, I just rushed. Not this fast because this is a time lapse obviously, but I did rush and I didn't really have much fabric to work with so actually I know exactly why the bodice turned out horrible. But I just kind of cut it up and I lined it out, I lined it up, anyway. One really good thing is that that little arm thingy that lays over Belle's shoulders actually was able to cover up some of the mess of the bodice that I made, so that's good, but this didn't really turn out very well either. It was really hard to work with because the layers were so thick, so in the end, I just cut it up like a little tube. I wasn't able to finish the edges, and then I just kind of tied it together with a little bow, and then I just kind of started gathering up the skirt like so. So I just kind of put like pins in there to hold it how I wanted in these three places in the front and then I just kind of like tacked them down with a few stitches and there's the top if you want to see it. And now it's on to the grand reveal except it's not very grand because the dress did not fit my sister very well. Like I said the bodice was horrible. You can see it is really truly horrible. It does not cover her belly at all. She was a great sport though anyway, and we were able to get a few good pictures, and it actually looks pretty decent from afar, so I guess it wasn't a total flop. Now a lot of these dresses are really beautiful, but I just can't see what their use would be, or why anybody would need to wear one of these, and I don't know who on earth would put themselves in one of these dresses. I mean, they're, they're not that great. Back to real me, and I would have to say my sisters and I have actually come up with a lot of great uses for wearing these dresses, and I don't think we're actually that crazy. I love to be taking these pictures of my sister. Most of these pictures were just taken on cell phones or iPods. Actually, not most of them, all of them. I don't have a professional camera or anything. Those were just taken on my iPhone in 2017, I believe. These were taken on my iPod in like 2014. Some of these pictures are really old. I've just built up my collection of thrift store dresses and sheets and curtains and random knickknacks and things over the years. Anyway, thanks for watching.